The Olympics are a time for all countries around the world to send their best athletes to compete against one another. Even small countries like San Marino with a population of about 34,000 won three medals at Tokyo 2020 Olympics, one silver and two bronze. Most of the countries that never won any medals are tiny and have populations in the thousands, except for one exception. Bangladesh, with a population of 170 million, has never won an Olympic medal. So how has Bangladesh never managed to win any Olympic medals? The 8th most populated country in the world has participated in the last 10 Summer Olympics from LA 1984 to Tokyo 2020. They never participated in the Winter Olympics. They sent one athlete in 1984, and most athletes they ever sent was 7 to Rio 2016. However, despite Bangladesh placing all their hope into these athletes, they are generally not the best, to put it lightly. In fact, all but two of their 49 Olympic athletes only qualify thanks to the wildcard system. Athletes whose records are below the qualifying average are given wildcards by the International Olympic Committee to increase the number of participating countries. The low number of athletes in the country may be due to the huge popularity of cricket. Bangladesh has one of the best national cricket teams in the world and their players are some of the biggest celebrities in the country. Most Bangladeshi children dream of becoming cricketers, not Olympic athletes. Basically all of the government's resources go into cricket, not athletics. Corporate sponsors also pretty much only invest in cricket programs. The country's athletic system has no long-term plan, substandard training facilities, poor coaches, and pays little attention to the mental health and financial stability of their athletes. Young athletes are generally made to focus on getting a job in a services team like the Bangladesh Army, Navy, Air Force, or ANSAR, a paramilitary auxiliary force. They are not trained with the goal of eventually competing at the Olympics. Also, there is just not a big sports culture in Bangladesh, except for cricket. Most middle-class parents and society in general encourage children to take the middle path in life, which means getting a low-risk career for a stable life. Sports are mostly just seen as pastimes or hobbies, and most athletes are still forced to have a day job in order to get enough money to survive. Athletes, coaches often don't even have proper qualifications. Coaches and support teams are what allows athletes to succeed. Most importantly, when the big day comes, they are by the athlete's side to help them any way they can. However, Bangladeshi athletes weren't sent to Rio with their coaches. Only official delegates accompanied them. The number of official representatives sent to London was about four times higher than the number of athletes sent to the 2012 Olympics. Most Olympic committees put the spotlight on their athletes competing, but not Bangladesh. Bangladeshi athletes generally don't have access to Olympic standard facilities or proper equipment. Olympic athletes typically only go to the national team camp for one to three months before major international competitions. For the rest of the time, they are forced to rely on themselves. One athlete was even forced to make their own javelins out of bamboo to practice before the upcoming Olympics. They simply lacked the money to get a regulation javelin, and no one was willing to help them out. Athletes don't have access to pools or running tracks that are the correct length, they don't have proper coaches to tell them what they do, and they are often forced to get day jobs due to lack of government or corporate funds. Most Bangladeshis are simply never given a fair chance to chase the Olympic dream. But with a population of 170 million, Bangladesh has no shortage of people who still want to compete in the Olympics. It's just that societal, economical, and governmental factors all end up discouraging people from aiming to compete at the Olympics. Despite these Olympic troubles, Bangladesh has won 8 medals, including 2 gold, at the Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games are basically the Olympics for countries that were formerly part of the British Empire. All these medals came from shooting events, and these athletes are also some of the country's most successful Olympic athletes. So, many Bangladeshi athletes clearly have the potential to get Olympic medals. They just lack the government support needed to take the final step. Bangladesh has so much potential, but for now, all I can really do is hope that the government invests a little bit more into athletics so that Bangladeshi children are given a chance to dream of winning gold at the Olympics in the years to come. And that's the end of the video. I've been pretty busy recently, so I haven't been able to upload much, but hopefully soon I'll be able to get back into things. And... Thank you all so much for watching.